by circumstance or by choice, how many of you had to take a defensive driving course? Yes, I had. But just think about these words after an accident. I think, I didn't see, I wasn't expecting. But what if we have used the defensive driving techniques that you were trained to use? If you haven't been trained, here's just some recommended suggestions that you should use when you operate your personal vehicle, let alone a city vehicle. Number one, prior to getting your vehicle, make sure you walk around your vehicle and check your tires to make sure they're properly inflated. Because when you have to put on your brakes to stop, a deflated tire may be hard to handle or either uh, improper steering. Make sure all your occupants in, in that vehicle that you're operating have on their seat belt. That's what they're designed to do. Make sure you check all your temperature gauges and all your other gauges and make sure they're working properly prior to you operating that vehicle. When you get ready to pull out, scan the parking lot. Make sure that you got a, a straightaway, there's nobody blocking it, and also to make sure you scan the parking lot if you're backing up. If you have an occupant in there with you, ask them to get out and help you, assist you with backing up. There's no uh, harm in asking for assistance. And when you're out on the road, when you're approaching the intersection and coming up behind a vehicle, make sure you stop properly behind the vehicle the proper stopping measurement is that when you stop behind that vehicle, you can see their tire as it meets the pavement. Also, before you proceed through an intersection, you should look left, right, and then left again, and then proceed through the intersection. One of the most key principles about operating the vehicle as you transition throughout our jurisdiction to cover our system is that you maintain a cushion around your vehicle. Things change very quickly and it's very fluidly very fluid when you're operating your vehicle, so you must pay attention and stay focused. Make sure you look at your outside mirrors before you change your lane, because you never know, a car may pull up into your blind spot. Also, make sure that you look over your left shoulder when you're going to opposite direction. It is so quickly, things will change, and it's up for you to maintain that vehicle in a safe and proper manner. One of the things I want you to pay very close attention to, if you leave home early enough, you will arrive to work on time. But if you are running tardy, just remember, no matter for how, how late you are, there is no need to speed. It may potentially worsen your situation because your destination is not gonna move because you're being late. And last but not least, is as you travel through the city or going to and from home, just make sure that you try to use these recommended defensive driving techniques.